Welcome back to Sonic 3 and Knuckles with me, Matthew Caddis, Iggy Poogie. And this is something that only happens in Sonic 3 and Knuckles in Mushroom Hill Zone, in that we see Knuckles doing something with a switch. Well, if we actually step on said switch, we will be able to gain access to a new type of um, special stage in this game. Yes, because what will happen is that the Chaos Emeralds will scatter and turn into the Super Emeralds, almost. Uh, we still have to actually activate the Super Emeralds in order to actually get them. And this is actually worth your time doing if you want uh, to get, well, certainly the really good ending in Sonic 3 and Knuckles. <laughs> because uh, now we can't use Super Sonic. Yes, I will say that now! We cannot use Super Sonic um, anymore in the second half of the game. So yeah, uh, same rules apply. We still have, um, have to avoid the red spheres, get all the blue spheres, yada yada yada. Although now there are also these springs that uh, propel us very high over various obstacles. Although they are also ones that can get us um, in the wrong way, if you know what I mean. So yeah. So that being said, let's go around here and get the things. Again, each of these stages are from Sonic and Knuckles, these Blue Sphere special stages. The difference is some of them are very, very hard. Seriously. Even more so than the last special stages in Sonic 3. Uh, so yeah, um, I especially do not like the one where you have to pivot. Um, in a certain pattern and everything um, around some of the things and then try and avoid uh, the bump or have to get um, I don't know what it is but and it, I think I do it around I think it's in um, I don't know what stage it is now sorry but I think it's flying battery which uh, I think I'll cover in the next episode but um, that being said, yeah, here's our first Super Emerald. The good thing about these special stages, we can tackle them in any order we wish. So, um, if I found one space stage too hard, then um, it doesn't really matter because, um, as I say, I could easily do another one that's a little easier. Um, although, uh, then, um, yeah, that can be a problem later. Uh, because we still have to do the other ones later, but I do like that choice. Anyway, that being said, Mushroom Hill Zone, uh, the first stage in Sonic and Knuckles, and uh, bringing in these bouncy mushrooms, which can bounce you a little higher. Uh, not as high as the springs, man, but the annoying thing are these butterfly badniks. So yeah, although like those, um, like those Harry badniks in Launch Base Zone, they can be defeated by using a spin dash if you. Keep it going. I do not like the Mush Meanie Badniks, which may as well be n robotic gnomes. Seriously. They throw mushrooms at you and send you f bouncing all over the place. And the Dragonfly Badniks, I don't like either. Um, although we can pull ourselves up with these weights. Yes, apparently Sonic is that strong, which is weird. Um, maybe he does work out after all. You don't see that much with Sonic, to be honest, because his favorite food is chili dogs. That has actually been um, um, now uh, made canon by Sega, seriously, <laughs> in the video games. Even though we don't see him in, in um, certainly in any 90s games uh, doing so, but, well, they've made it canon now. So here's another special stage, and this one is... I'm going for a very hard one here, so forgive me if I um, do do any cutting, if I, I hit any red spheres, if you know what I mean, because that can happen. So, this one is quite tough. Basically, with this one, we will have to, because of the placement of the blue spheres, um, we have to navigate our way um, around this maze-like area and not actually um, bounce on the springs too much unless we want to jump over the the red ones. Yes, that's what I'm going with here. Uh, so yeah, and keep in mind that I did say Sonic goes faster and faster and faster in these stages. Yes, you will see towards the end of this stage why I do not like this one. That and the um, 
four blue spheres in the center. If you're going for, uh, um, it's easy to get continue in this one, but not very easy to get a, um, perfect, at least from my experience. Okay then, so, uh, this is me at full speed here, and I have 12, maybe 10 to go. Keep in mind that some of them are in, uh, bunches, so I won't be getting a perfect this time. No, I'm, no, am I aiming for such? I have plenty of lives and plenty of continues, so why would I? And although there is a little trick you can do, I, I don't know if I can call it a trick. Um, the sheer speed can sometimes launch you at, over at least two um, red spheres in these stages. It is also the, the case that there's only three um, special stages because it uses the same mechanics and everything. So yeah, uh, it doesn't always work though. You have to have decent timing, which I've already said plenty of times in my let's plays. I don't have great timing when it comes to jumping. Even in the um, games like the classic Sonic games, which I'm most familiar with um, in terms of um, gameplay. Uh, so yeah, and you can easily get a good bunch of emeralds in the first like um, stage here in the Mushroom Hill Zone. Seriously, there are a bunch of areas where you can easily get hypersonic, which I'll get to. Kind of gave the game away with the uh, thing, but yeah. It's not exactly canon though, seriously. Is the only this is the only game Hypersonic actually appears in. Compared with the um, thing, yeah. Anyway, uh, now we've heard he's a lumberjack and he's okay. Well no, he's not okay, he likes chopping down the wood here. That's not good for Angel Island or any for um, I guess Robotnik is in, or so is it Eggman even, is into um, deforestation. Well, I'm not surprised by that, given that um, what happened in Sonic Sat AM. So, that being said, we've completed the first act. All you have to do, really, um, is jump, is avoid his axe, really. And it's very easy if you have a fire shield, because um, he has a burner. Seriously. Anyway, here's Knuckles at the beginning of Act 2, and he will turn on the grab or turn off the gravity, so he goes it high into the air. Yeah. Uh, it isn't explained how that happens. Uh, and this is um, one of Eggman's traps. That would make some sense. Although we don't kind of see that with the, um, um, either the, um, I guess, kind of with Sonic Underground, um, in that w one episode. Uh, away from the Chaos Emerald side, because Knuckles does return there. Because he does actually use some traps there, to be fair to him. Even traps Sleet and Dingo in them. Uh, but, um, yeah. Anti-gravity? I don't think so. I think that's one of Eggman's uh, things. And, oh boy, the Clockoids! I hate these things! Seriously, they blow you off and can blow you into other enemies, such as those dragonflies. Yeah. If I thought um, those um, chicken badniks in Wing Fortress so were annoying, oh boy, those ones are annoying. Anyway, that being said, I will go through here and um, yes, yeah, spin dash, definitely spin dash. And over here is another dragonfly, and oh boy, yeah, um, that lot of. Um, crumbling blocks there, we can only do, uh, blow up with knuckles. So yeah, the timing with this always threw me off as a kid. And keep in mind that Sonic and Knuckles did not have a saving system. Now, oh, um, <laughs> to be fair, um, a lot of Sega Mega Drive games relied on passwords rather than battery backup. So yeah, the snares had the better uh, run of that one, which is shame because I do think the Mega Drive did have better power there. Excuse me for calling it the Genesis. Uh, but never mind that. Um, let's see over here. I'm going to go to the right here and go to this one and see what this one holds. Is this the one I think it is? Let's see. Because if it is, then I may well be s screwed royally. Let's see what it is then. It is... Okay, this one, no, no, this is not the one I was thinking of. 
This one isn't too bad, actually. Um, we will have to... Um, well, firstly, there's the area with these um, whole huge squares of blue spheres, but um, yeah, it doesn't start off too badly, although this area with the uh, things does throw me off quite a bit, because what we will have to do here is actually jump through the middle here to jump over the red... Actually, no! No, no, I was wrong! This is the one I was thinking of! Because with this one, yeah, it's not great. Okay, I don't know if I did it again or just reloaded from there, but let's see. If I just reloaded from the um, thing there, then fine. Let's see. I think I did. Okay, so... Yeah, this is the my least favorite special stage in Sonic and Knuckles. Basically, with this one, you have to make usage of the bumpers. And given how the bumpers work, there's kind of a sh only a short delay with them because there's a bit of knockback, and then you're immediately moving forward. And yeah, not a fan of this. But uh, there you go. Because you will need to to get those two spheres. And that is how this whole thing works. Good thing I can somewhat do this, uh, but it's not easy at all. Even though the number of um, blue spheres is kind of smaller compared to the last one, uh, last special stage that is, then uh, yeah, I can easily be thrown off. Especially if Sonic is going at high speed. This area here is the real clincher here because um, there are only three spheres, uh, three or um, two or three left, and I really mess up here, seriously. Um, so yeah, and I'm going at high speed, so that doesn't work out well either. Who? Um, let's go on with this. So basically, we have three spheres left. So uh, where we want to go is over this way. Get two spheres there. Turn to the right, and there you go. That maneuver. It's quite hard to do, seriously. It is actually quite hard to do, but if you're getting right, um, that one may not be as hard as um, I feel it is, but oh boy, I do think it's rather hard. Anyway, that being said, I wanted to get the hard ones out of the way first so I could do the easy ones last. That's how I'm going with this game, seriously. Uh, but over here to the left, and we'll use the thing up. Also, take note of the background. The um, mushrooms turned blue initially, and now they've turned green. And there's a reason for that. Yes. You know how I said Robotnik was into deforestation, seemingly? With the... Uh, because it, he, his um, Sonic failed to stop... Um, Sonic... The Lumberjack, sorry, failed to stop Sonic from uh, having him chop down the... Oh, I mean, oh Sonic stopped the Lumberjack. Well, apparently he's now using uh, satellite waves or something like that. Anyway, this uh, boss is actually quite easy. All you have to do is hit his underside. Just be wary of his rockets there. So, yeah, seriously. You can even get a few easy hits in at the beginning of the fight as well. Anyway, that being said, um... We have freed the animals. However, this is where Robotnik's, um, or should I say Eggman's, uh, giant uh, floating fortress, the flying battery, comes back in again. Yes, seriously. Uh, so, indeed, we'll be tacking that, uh, tackling that on the next episode. So, I will see you then. Goodbye!